This is something a little bit different than what you normally see on the channel. We took a family camping trip and honestly I filmed this with no intentions of posting it on YouTube but thought it might be a little fun and different. We do this every year, several times a year, where we go out with a lot of the family, with all the cousins, and the kids just have a riot. Take a look. All the kids woke up early, and the adults were sleeping in. My sister-in-law decided to take many of the kids away from camp and build a shelter. As more and more people started to roll out of bed, this became more of a community effort with a lot of the brother-in-laws involved. Yeah. Attach it there, huh? Actually, that's a good idea. More or less something fun for the kids. And you can't build a shelter without building an appetite. Little ant larvae full of protein. Let's see how it tastes. Not bad. <laughs> is it a one sauce or is it just right? Mm, not too bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what you're getting a little ant larvae. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a shot at it. Oh, cute. I think that oh, one's name's George. <laughs> What's that this one? is the end of your life, George. I'm hey guys, sorry. Hey guys, I found a queen one. Look, look, look. Oh my Make God. sure you chew them before you send them down. Wait, so I have to chew it? And well, you don't want them like down there, like wrestling around, okay. swim around, reproducing. Are you sure I should? Multiplying. Okay. <laughs> we just spontaneously. It's Good. not bad, huh? Hmm? I'm gonna eat one. What's his name? That one's Sally. Hey, George. He's a real nine-year-old man. <laughs> Go ahead, taste it, see what you think. Dude, wait, actually now my throat's feeling weird. Ants are eating a skin beetle. Tastes like a Cheeto. A Cheeto? <laughs> no, it doesn't taste like a Cheeto. It does not taste like a Cheeto. Like a Cheeto. It, it tastes dry and weird at the end of my throat. You like it? I guess it doesn't really taste like anything. Mm hmm More just kind of a soft, crunchy, if that makes any sense. Now, throughout the trip, this little area continued to evolve with rope swings from an old retired climbing rope and we had all kinds of fun with this as well as the kids. Sit on this rope. This rope? No, this rope he like, he has to put his arms over it okay. and then here, that's the like, Where does he hold on to? Uh, Where's the rope? And of course, no camping trip would be complete without a little hunting of some pop cans. One of the biggest benefits I see of camping is the ability to remove the kids from the normal day-to-day -day life and they get to really use their imagination. Huh? That spider cage. Is that a spider cage? Yeah. And you're my a**t? Yeah. With the light blue shirt on? I do that so in the future we can identify who is who with my twins. That's a pretty cool spider cage. And I don't walk. Oh, yeah, though. Yeah. We're just gonna go find a little stream, bud. We decided to give the kids a break from the midday heat, so we loaded them all up and took them on a short drive to play in a river. Wash your faces off. Wash your sticky feet. And your dirty hands. Now this particular area that we go camping in, I've been since a child and my wife and I have been regularly since even before our kids were born. So we know the area quite well and know where a lot of the fun spots are. The one thing we didn't anticipate about the river is it was really, really quite cold. Your feet uh, they would actually go numb from the water. It took some time to get used to.
but the kids adjusted. We played in the water for hours. We just had a lot of fun at it. Now, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, I am a complete convert to the hammock. Another thing that goes on on these camping trips, the cooking. Oh man, do we eat like kings. Now, if you've never had a Dutch oven dinner, they are extremely good. As you can see here, this is cinnamon rolls, but the previous night we did make some chicken and vegetable. Oh man, it was so good. Last but not least, the game called Ninja. This is a fun one that the kids, man, they played this a ton. Basically you get one move, you try to hit your opponent's hand, and once you do, that hand is out. Once you hit both hands out, the last remaining person wins. The kids loved this game. Here my daughter just talked me into playing with her up at the fort. What did you guys think of the trip? I liked it. I liked it better than he did. I liked it better than everybody. What would you guys do again? Uh, I shot at the fort on the swing. I and shot an airsoft gun from I the first time. I do it wing too. Eat I breakfast. Do you would eat breakfast again? I do yes. it. That yes. means you l really like the breakfast? Yes. I do it. 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 Yeah. That was fun. Yes. Me too. What would you do again? Uh, probably get Oh. Your diamond sword is big enough. I don't get Oh my. I don't get presents. It was a lot of fun to watch my boys manage the fire and do so by themselves. The lessons I've given them in the past are really starting to pay off. And those of you who are local and recognize the t-shirt, yes, we are a house divided. But it was just nice to see the kids get out into nature. I've got a lot of fond memories from doing camping trips when I was young with my cousins and it's fun to keep this tradition alive and get these kids out there, get them dirty and let them have fun.